Welcome to the Self Care After Series video blog where I will be reading some of my blogs um, for you all. This blog is entitled Romance, The Culture Needs You. As I navigate this season of my life, I find myself craving romance. As I reflect on the current dating culture, I cannot help but approach it from a biosocial or rather cultural and wellness perspective. We've all heard the cliches about the dating pool being full of problematic people, right? The dating pool has pee in it, the men want to be treated like ladies, the women only want Birkin bags, whatever. It's, it's important to examine these cons the consequences of these attitudes, rather, or at least for me. As a Black woman scholar and activist, I'm particularly invested in exploring the role of romance and love in soothing Black people in a society that is built on anti-Blackness. So I created the term and workshop in framing self-care after a fuckboy, which views the casual mistreatment of women as a public health issue. And I created it as a part of a series focused on healing after negative experiences in dating. In my early 20s, I don't know about you all, but I noticed a shift in dating culture with apps like Plenty of Fish and Tinder, making it easier to connect with a bunch of singles. In the early days, it was awesome. However, during this time, there was also a cementing trend in music that was promoting negative attitudes towards women, specifically perpetuating harmful stereotypes about black women. And Patricia Hills Collins um, talks about this a lot in Controlling Images. I'll share whatever links below. So I am of the model that how we treat each other matters and we can either trigger our traumas or catalyze our healing. And I want to promote the latter for our culture, right? So in promoting healthier behaviors and beliefs in dating, I think it's also important to identify what happens when the worst happens. What happens when dating becomes a space for manipulation, hate, and distorted thinking? Uh, black folk face many threats in an anti-black society, and I believe that we should be able to find safe spaces within one another. However, dating has become so dangerous, y'all, and I believe that this is partly due to the influence of harmful stereotypes perpetuated in music and media. Dr. Tricia Rose has coined the term hip hop trinity. She's a professor at Brown University. Um, and she dis she coined this term to describe the three personas that dominate black artistry in mainstream music, the pimp, the gangster, and the hoe. I believe that these personas have shaped and transformed our dating culture, making it difficult to find genuine romance and connection. But guess what? Pimps, gangsters, and hoes need love too, but seldom, due to the nature of their respective practices, are they able to offer it in its healthiest form. You get me? In conclusion, I believe that we need to examine our attitudes towards dating and work towards creating healthier and safer spaces for Black folk. By adopting improved beliefs and behaviors, we can overcome the negative influences of harmful media stereotypes and thus promote healing and wellness in Black American culture. Mm -hmm.